Hello everyone, and welcome to Quantify's presentation on the basics of calculating and estimating brickwork. In this presentation, we will discuss the quantity calculation methods for the volume of mortar, in different brickwork bonds and orientations. Be sure to watch our other brickwork presentations, for further information on brickwork takeoffs, and various brickwork cost analyses. Mortar is composed of cement and sand, and can be mixed on site, or ordered from a supplier as ready-mix mortar. Mortar is measured, mixed, or sold in cubic meters. To note, when pricing and estimating one square meter of brickwork, mortar must be calculated as a cubic volume required for one square meter. To do this, we calculate the volume required per brick and multiply the answer by the number of bricks required per square meter. The same method can be applied to brickwork measured in meters. When pricing and estimating for mass brickwork, we deduct the volume of bricks in a cubic meter of brickwork from one cubic meter of mortar. To calculate the volume of mortar per brick, we require the following. Nominal dimensions of the brick, wall and bond type, and the orientation of brickwork to be constructed. Thickness of the mortar beds and perp ends. As mentioned in the previous presentation, the nominal dimensions of the brick we are using are 220 mm long by 110 mm wide by 75 mm high, with a mortar thickness of 10 mm. The mortar volume per brick can be quantified using the following calculation. Open bracket, 0.22 meters for the brick bed length, plus 0.075 meters for the perp end height, plus 10 millimeters for mortar to fill the void below the perp end, close bracket, multiplied by, 0.11 meters for the width of the brick bed, multiplied by, 10 millimeters for the mortar joint thickness. This gives us a mortar volume of 0.0003355 cubic meters per brick. If the brick orientation is changed, for example, to suit a header course, the calculation can be adjusted accordingly. Open bracket, 0.11 meters for the brick bed width, plus 0.075 meters for the perp end height, plus 10 millimeters for mortar to fill the void below the perp end, close bracket, multiplied by, 0.22 meters for the length of the brick bed, multiplied by, 10 millimeters for the mortar joint thickness. This gives us a mortar volume of 0.000429 cubic meters per brick. Where brick leaves are built up against each other, as is the case with one brick, or one and a half brick walls, a one meter, by one meter, by 10 millimeters thick layer of mortar may be required. Therefore, we will add 0.01 cubic meters per square meter to our calculation, between the brick leaves. We can now calculate the volume of mortar required for various brick walls, built using a stretcher bond. To do this, we use the mortar volume calculated per brick, and multiply the answer by the number of bricks in a square meter. This calculation gives us a cubic volume required per square meter of brickwork. Therefore, a half brick wall, of 52 bricks, multiplied by the mortar volume per brick, is equal to 0.017 meters cubed per meter square. A cavity brick wall of two skins, equals 0.035 meters cubed per meter square. A one brick wall, constructed of two skins, including the vertical 10 millimeter mortar fill, equals 0.045 meters cubed per meter square. And lastly, a one and a half brick wall, made up of 156 bricks, multiplied by the mortar volume, including the two vertical 10 millimeter mortar fills between skins, equals 0.072 meters cubed per meter square. To calculate the volume of mortar required in a cubic meter of brick work, we can use the following formula. 1 cubic meter of mortar, less, the volume of 1 brick, multiplied by the number of bricks per cubic meter. That is, 1 cubic meter, less, open bracket, 0.22 meters, by 0.11 meters, by 0.075 meters, by 427 bricks per cubic meter, close bracket. This amounts to, 0.225 cubic meters of mortar, per cubic meter of brickwork. To calculate the cost of one cubic meter of mortar, we require, or need to make assumptions on the following information. Materials specified as part of the mortar mix, that is, cement, sand etc. The mix ratio of the mortar, that is, the proportions of cement to sand. For example, 1 to 3, 1 to 4 or 1 to 5 etc. Position of work, such as, foundations, superstructure, roof, etc. This will affect the distance to transport and conveyance method of the mortar. Method of mixing, that is mixing by hand, or by means of a mechanical mixer. Size and cost of the concrete mixer. Purchasing ready-mix mortar, or mixing mortar on site. 
method of bulking, or shrinkage of materials to account for voids, which can be assumed and calculated as a percentage. Mixing waste, that is, if one cubic meter of mortar is required, and during the mixing process 5% is wasted, we must mix an additional 5% to make up the shortfall. The mixing wastage cost must be applied to all resources required in mixing mortar. The number of pockets of cement in a cubic meter. For example, if a cubic meter of cement weighs 1,515 kilograms, and we divide this by the weight of 150 kilogram pocket of cement, then we have 30.3 pockets per cubic meter. The time it takes a laborer to mix, wheel, and place one cubic meter of mortar. The additional cost of handling pockets of cement, either when offloading and storing cement pockets, or when transporting to the point of mixing the mortar. To tender accurately, contact your local suppliers for current rates and substitute your local currency into the analysis. For this exercise, let's use the South African Rand and assume the following. Cement pockets, at 80 Rand per pocket. Sand, at 160 Rand per cubic meter. Cost of a general laborer for a 9-hour workday, at 405 Rand per day, which includes for 1 hour's paid lunch. Let's assume we want to mix our own mortar on site, with a mix ratio of 1 to 5, that is, 1 part cement, to 5 part sand, therefore 6 parts. Our labor output is assumed as one laborer being able to mix, wheel, and place 1 cubic meter per day. We need to allocate a cost to the labor resource for handling pockets of cement. This we can assume will be 10% of the labor fee per hour. Assume a shrinkage of 30% on mortar materials. Shrinkage occurs when the voids between aggregates and cement are filled or removed during mixing, that is, if we start mixing 1 cubic meter of material, the yield will be 0.70 cubic meters of mortar. Using the above information and assumptions, we can now accurately price a cubic meter of mortar, to be used in our brick work. Preliminaries. Unit of measure is per cubic meter. Shrinkage, at 30%, or 100 divided by 70, equals 1.43 dry to wet. Mix ratio, at 1 to 5, therefore a total of 6 parts. Mixing waste, at 5%. To perform a cost analysis for the cost of mortar, you will need columns for your resources, the resource unit of measure, the quantity required, the resource rate, and the amount. In order to calculate the cost of 1 cubic meter of mortar, let's consider the following. 1 part cement, divided by 6 parts, multiplied by, 1.43, multiplied by, 30.3 pockets of cement per cubic meter. This gives us a quantity of, 7.22 pockets required for our cubic meter of mortar. The cost of a pocket is 80 rand, therefore, the cost of cement to mix a cubic meter of mortar is, 577.60 rand. Next, we will need 5 parts sand for our 1 to 5 mix, multiplied by 1.43, equals 1.19 cubic meters. The quantity can be multiplied by the rate of, 160 rand per cubic meter. The total cost equaling 190.40 rand. For handling of cement, we will use the cost of a laborer per hour, multiplied by the number of pockets of cement required, multiplied by 10%. The labor output is, 1 cubic meter of mortar mixed per day, therefore 9 hours, multiplied by the cost per hour, equals, 405 rand per cubic meter. Lastly, we can add 5% mixing waste to all the items above. This gives us our mortar cost of 1265.76 rand per cubic meter of mortar. We can now carry the cost of mortar into our brick work rate analysis, which we will deal with in a later presentation. And that concludes Quantify's presentation on mortar volume quantity calculation methods. Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch our other videos on the basics of brickwork and various other topics in the built environment.